Congratulations, you did it. You watched the last video, you bought the rice, you stockpiled the honey, and you secured the peanut butter. You are officially calorie rich in a starving world. You are sitting on a throne of nutrition, but wealth brings parasites. Your neighbor Dave, the guy who stockpiled 400 rolls of two-ply toilet paper instead of food, is starting to get hungry, and he knows exactly where that smell of cooking rice is coming from. But let's zoom out. Whether it's Dave coming for your beans or a random stranger coming for your TV, the problem is the same. You are not an action hero. You do not have a dark past, special forces training, or the ability to do a roundhouse kick in pajama pants without pulling a hamstring. If an intruder kicks down your door at 3 a.m. and you try to fight them hand to hand, the only thing you are going to achieve is becoming a very soft, very confused speed bump. Confrontation is messy. It involves sweat, adrenaline, and the high probability of getting punched in the nose. We don't like confrontation. We like physics. Physics is reliable. Physics doesn't panic. You don't need to be a warrior to defend your home. You just need to be an engineer of inconvenience. Here is how to turn your house into a nightmare of geometry, friction, and pain. One, the three inch screw revolution. Your front door is a lie. It looks solid, but it is held to the frame by screws that are barely half an inch long. They are screws made of cheese and optimism. A solid kick doesn't break the door. It rips the hinges right out of the softwood frame. Physics dictates that force equals mass times acceleration. A boot hitting your door is a lot of force. To counter it, you need to anchor the strike plate into the studs of the house, not just the trim. Take out those tiny screws. Replace them with three-inch hardened steel screws. Now when Dave kicks your door, he isn't kicking a piece of wood. He is kicking the entire structural skeleton of your home. The door won't budge. His ankle, however, will have a very bad night. 2. The Photonic Shield Once the door holds, you attack their biology. Humans rely on vision for balance and targeting. If you take away their vision, you turn a predator into a stumbling toddler. Forget the baseball bat. Buy a tactical flashlight with the strobe function and at least a thousand lumens. This isn't a flashlight. It is a handheld piece of the sun. When you shine that in someone's eyes in a dark hallway, their vision whites out and their brain briefly forgets which way is up. The strobe effect disrupts their depth perception and balance. They will be disoriented, blind, and nauseous. You're safe behind a wall of photons. 3. The Acoustic Minefield Stealth is the intruder's currency. Bankrupt them. You want to make the floor scream. You know those annoying plastic packaging bubbles, or dried leaves, or crunched gravel? That is your perimeter alarm. Put gravel under your windows. If someone steps on it, it sounds like they're walking on a bag of Doritos. Inside, scatter obstacles that make noise when bumped. Empty soda cans stacked near the door aren't trash. They are tripwires with commitment issues. You are turning silence into a weapon. They can't move without announcing their location, they panic. 4. The Lego Dachshund If they ignore the noise, make the ground punish them. The human foot is an engineering marvel, packed with sensitive nerve endings. You want to turn the floor into a surface that hates them. We're not talking about bear traps, that's illegal. We're talking about clutter. A scattering of hard, angular objects in the hallway, children's building blocks or jacks, creates a terrain that is impossible to navigate quickly. If an intruder steps on a sharp plastic brick in the dark, the pain signal overrides their brain. They will stop, they will curse, they will hop on one foot. Don't home alone yourself. If you step on your own trap at 3 a.m. while sleepwalking, you deserve the pain. Clear the path during the day or you're just setting yourself up for a very embarrassing ER visit. The Friction Subtraction Friction is what separates walking from involuntary breakdancing, so let's remove it. If you have hardwood floors or tile in your entryway, keep them polished. 
An intruder sprinting around a corner who hits a zero friction zone isn't an intruder anymore. They are a projectile. They will introduce their face to the baseboards at high velocity. 7. The Safe Room Sanctuary This is the ultimate coward's move, and it is brilliant. Pick one room, reinforce the door, put a heavy lock on it. Inside, have your phone and flashlight. If the intruder breaks in, you don't go hunting, you retreat. You lock the door. By bunkering down, you force them to come to you, past the Legos, into the blinding light, and against the reinforced door. By the time they reach your safe room, they should look like they just lost the fist fight with a children's museum. Defense isn't about being brave. It's about being smarter than the guy trying to take your stuff. It's about using geometry, light, and friction to make their life miserable. But waiting in the safe room is boring if you don't know what's going on outside. You're safe, but are you blind? Subscribe now. If you can't defend your home with physics, at least defend your YouTube recommendations.